Hello everybody and welcome back to the multiplayer server. So what we're going to do today is quite a bit of bailing, which is something we do quite a bit, but obviously it's going to be on a different scale today. Using some different mods, some very interesting mods actually. So we're going to get into that in a second, but first I should just buy another low loader, because uh, we actually do have quite a few of these JCBs to take over to, whichever field we're going to be doing. So I'm hoping that Chainsaw 100 is going to take this low loader here. I'm going to start to get these things set up with the bail spike. And then, yeah, if we can just load them up, that would be perfect. Because, yeah, it would take a lot of people to actually transport all of this over there. So, uh, yeah, we do need to get a, a lorry on this, uh, this trailer here, ideally. It looks like the lorries are going to be doing the bailing. I don't think so. Um, it might work, but... I don't think they have a PTO, so that is going to be a real struggle, and yeah, it's not something you'd usually see. Anyway, this is actually the same JCB as the pack which we downloaded last week. It's just so customizable, you can make it look completely different. You can have tracks or no tracks, and this is, I think this is the default colour for it, on the mod, which actually is a pretty nice yellow. Okay, let's see, oh, that, that's not good. I was going to say, let's see how well I can do this, but that's obviously uh, completely failed. So, two on a trailer would be good. Uh, it might have been better to reverse it on, potentially. Although, there's quite a bit of space there. Uh, yeah, hilarious. <laughs> My um, lorry, well, low load of skill work is not very good. But as long as we get to the field... That is the most important thing. So, yeah, the server cannot be updated because I don't know for sure if... Oh, why is it so laggy? Weird. I don't know for sure if the save game will still be compatible with the updated version. So I've had to stick with this older version. I'm hoping to update it for next week because it is preventing some people from actually uh, getting on, which is a shame. I think the server is full though anyway, so... I don't know how important it is that it gets updated, because I think the older version is still available. You can still download it from somewhere. It's just, yeah, I didn't want to lose the save game. I think I'm going to put that one on in reverse. That, that would probably be easier. I want to get this done quickly, because otherwise we're going to have no time to do other stuff. That's a really bad place to park. It's completely in the way. That truck. I think you might have uh, realised that. Yeah, I'm going to have to sort this lag out. It's terrible. There's just no space here. Okay, so there we go. Oh. Yeah, response times are pretty slow. Oh, why is it so laggy? Um, let's just check. See if anybody else does have the lag. If they do, then... Well, it must just be because we've got so much stuff. If they don't, then it's a mystery. They don't. Okay, right. Uh, so, it seems to have gone. That's better. Weird. Temporary. So, I was going to take one of those bail trailers over there. One like Michael's got and a little Turk over there. But, looking at it, I think it might be better to actually get a tractor on these balers. Because without the balers working... The lorries are doing nothing. Still laggy. I think it is just this one, so we'll put this one onto this trailer over here. Of course, yeah. It's going to be harvested first. But I should do. There we go. Again, apologies about my voice. It, I, has, I still haven't got rid of this coal of mine, but I think it's on the way out. Hopefully it is. Right, so there's some serious confusion. Somehow that is actually attached with the PTO shaft. Nobody knows where to go to, uh, but that's a pretty good screenshot, actually. We'll take it. I would say that, well, if, if a field has been harvested, that's the one to go to. It doesn't necessarily have to be straw. It could be hay, of course. Um, but we'll just see what everybody does. I'm going to hang back, actually. It's going to be quite interesting to see what everybody does, because usually I take the lead. But this time, I'm not going to. I'm going to instead get a case tractor, 
and we're going to attach it to the baler. And we'll follow them. Let's see what happens. Please, nobody take the tractor. I think everybody has something now anyway, so it's fine. We do have combine harvesters. It's just, I'm not quite sure how many. We've definitely got a lot of trailers from this maize harvest that we did. So, let's just try and hitch this onto here. There we go. They've gone. Everybody is gone. Oh, wait, sorry, not everybody. There is one left. Just here. So now we can play the uh, the following game, which is not a very interesting game. We'll just hang back and watch. Looks like most people have turned right down here, if not everybody. So there must be a field. There must be some knowledge of a field which is ready to bail. Unless it is just one person's looking for a field and everybody else has followed as well. We'll see what we get to. This could be interesting. So this is where the congregation got to. I think they actually might have gone the other way. Oh no, everybody's here. So this is the field of choice just here, which has got a fantastic sea view. I don't know if it is the sea, but it's certainly a river. Now it is going to get very busy very soon, because as soon as these bells do, do start to be produced, uh, we're going to be full on either producing the bales or loading them up onto the lorries. Uh, so it is going to be quite hectic. The only worry is lag produced by the, the bales which are coming out of the balers. But I think we'll just keep going as long as we can do. If the server crashes, then hopefully it's near the end of the video and not almost straight away. A different header is required. It seems that one of the headers has gone missing. I'm not too sure why. Um, that's the second person who has mentioned it. So it's probably in the water, because there's no way I'd have bought a combine without a header before. Does the water show up? Oh, it's probably off the map, actually, the water. So no, it can't be in the water. It must just be left somewhere. Well, I could take a look, um, but I've bought another one now, so it doesn't really matter. If you are wanting to play on the server, uh, chances are by the time you're watching this video, I will have updated the uh, the version of the game, the version of the map, I should say. It's just, yeah, I can't guarantee that if I update it, that we will be continuing with the same save game, because it might not be compatible. I'll try it, hopefully it will be, but yeah, you never know. So, we'll take this JCB just over here. I'm hoping that everybody else is going to crack on with the baler, or the bailing, while a few people do the loading, and of course some people will be casting the bales as well. So those low loaders, for the first time actually, I think in a multiplayer video, have really come in handy there. I don't usually use them, and that is really because there's never really any need to do it, but carrying two of these in one go is fantastic. Right, so, unfortunately, it's now going dark, but I've put the speed of time to 120, so it should get through this night time very quickly. So, uh, yeah, apparently, these lorries are very good at auto-stacking as well. So I think what we'll do is we'll have some people auto-stacking, just because it's easier and quicker, and uh, we'll have other people loading up with the telehandlers, really to give people something to do, because otherwise we are going to be a bit stuck. And it is more achieving if you uh, do it like this instead of just having the bells teleport onto the trailers or onto the, the lorries themselves. So I'm just going to go away now. I'm going to look into this lag problem. Hopefully I can find the source of it and uh, yeah, see you in a second. All sorted. Fantastic. Right. So while we're waiting, let's just see. It's all the usual people I think overall. There might be a few newcomers. Um, yeah, you can see how quickly people joined. Uh, obviously these were straight away. And a few people were a bit later on. But overall, the server does fill incredibly quickly. And I should think, actually, if the map had been up to date, it would have filled within 20 seconds, which is, I would say, the record of it filling. About 20 seconds. Any bailers? Yep, there's a bailer over there. So let's just head over there. That one actually might be auto stacking. Yes, it is. So is there a bailer here? You know what? I might actually just grab a lorry. I did say that it would give us something to do, but... Uh, yes. 
might just be easier for everybody to use the trucks. Or when I say that, actually, easier for me because everybody is also stacking and there's no bells for me. Oh well. Let's sort this out. So much smoother. It's still never going to be perfect because we're running so much equipment, but overall, that is uh, fairly good. Speed, we're connection speed. <laughs> this looks like a commercial for combines, apparently. It's just basically, see how much equipment you can cram into a field. That's pretty much what we're doing here. Right, am I still going the right way here? I think I am, although it's very easy to go the wrong way. Yep, still going the right way, good. I'm really hoping that there will be some bells left for me, because I want to get some. I'd like to get a full trailer, ideally. Uh, but we'll see how we go. Oh, no. And here we are. Right, so it's now 7.15 in the morning, so we'll just slow down time. It's a good time of day to be in. And uh, yeah, let's try and get an auto stack going. So square bales, yep, that's all good. Activate work position, press X. We've got some bales here. That's good, look at that. It is actually the first time I've used this truck, so it is new to me. Whoa. I said the lag was getting better, but actually I still seem to be suffering a bit. It's not too bad. Good grief, that was some speed. Pushing my bales about. don't know what the capacity is, I suppose I could have found out, but it must be quite good. How did he get the Challenger? I wonder if there's any places in the world where they actually use a Challenger to bail. I suppose they would do. It's probably not unusual at all. It's just I've never seen it. Let's turn these lights off. There we go. So, yeah, I think the Sussex Farm series, multiplayer series, is going down pretty well. I do like the map. I don't think I would have done it as a single player, because the fields are very big. Um, but for a multiplayer, it does seem like a very good map to be on. The thing with it is, it, it's again, it's one of those maps where you have to have quite a lot of large equipment. And if I was doing it as a single player, we would just never have enough money. So it would be too challenging. Uh, to be able to expand at all, we'd have like three fields, and that would be it. We'd be stuck in the same area. So being able to basically go anywhere, because we're in every field, is, um, I would say, the best way of playing the map for us, from a multiplayer Let's Play sort of view. No, Michael, you took one of my bales, although I have actually picked up quite a few, so it's only fair that we do <laughs> share it a bit. Right, next one's mine. No, we've lost a player. So, are we full? I would have thought there'd be another layer at least. Find out after the synchronize. And what a long synchronizing session that was. So, um, yeah, I think the joke has been made many times that it, multiplayer can sometimes turn into synchronized simulator. Luckily, the game does come back and we can all enjoy it again. Right, I think that bailer there is finished. Let's try and find some more bales somewhere else. I've got to say, we've got through this field very quickly. Oh no, somebody else is joining. It's a good thing, but we have to wait. Well, that was rapid. How does that work? That was really fast. Any bales? Oh yes, got some bales over here. Because the swath and actually the, the crops themselves update so slowly in multiplayer, it can be quite hard to actually keep an eye on where the bales are. But you can seriously fill these things. So far we're four high. You'd have thought that would be the limit. I don't think we'll go to five, but we'll see. I think it's fairly unlikely. Can you buy the Joskin Cargo 7040? I can do, um, but I have to take a look at it first, and it's synchronizing again. This is the first time I've been in the interior view. Seems very nice, actually. Because I know that truck interiors and farming simulator aren't usually that good for some reason. But this, this is good. This is nice. I'm not sure if I was getting in the way. Right, so yeah, we had a request for something. Which one was it? No, this one here. How could I be so foolish? 
So we're going to have this color scheme of uh, what blue? Ye yellow looks good actually. Yellow. We'll try it, and we'll also have to buy the truck which is compatible with this, which is this one here. So put that to the that. There we go. Perfect. Right. So we'll see exactly what that looks like when it comes to uh, us. Hello. What well, you've covered over your three bales. Oh no, you have four more up there. Very good. Um, I'm just reading these messages. I see a lot of people want you to play Meadow Grove Farm from FSUK for the next map. I can confirm that this is a great map. What do you think? Well, I've not looked at it, but I'll definitely consider it. I have to do a vote. I always do a vote. Um, so that is the best thing to do. Were you doing a screenshot, Weasel? Quite possibly. Uh, yeah, we're not really in the best lighting, though. Going the other way would be better. I need to fill up. I'm not actually full. Yes, I have considered Discord. And at the moment, I don't have any plans. So, yeah, we're full. We are indeed full. We can cover it over. Um, that looks pretty impressive, actually. If I just remove the heads-up display by doing this, then we should be able to get a fairly amazing screenshot there. Let's just wait until the text goes. I think you can actually get a mod or something, possibly something in the uh, admin tools where you can remove the chat, I'm not entirely sure. There we go, it's pretty good. So where is the sell point for the bales? You wouldn't have thought it'd be too hard to find. That's possibly one just there. Nope, not that. That's the livestock market. I'll have to zoom in a bit. There we go. No, it's actually right on top of it, I think. Uh, well, I can remove that. I believe. Uh, okay, maybe not. I think it's up here, but I'm not entirely convinced. Well, Storm has actually backed up my theory of it being over at the livestock market, so it must be. That was the logo for it anyway, the icon, so let's take a journey over there. We have to go around the hedge to get there. These low loaders won't necessarily be used again, because we don't seem to be using the uh, telehandlers at all. Whoa! Ah, oh, look! That's the thing we bought. Looking nice as well. I would like to use some of those lorries, actually, because I, I have obviously installed them for the server for this week. Um, but finding the opportunity to use them is uh, yet to come to me. Come on, lag. Clear off, lag. We don't want it. Hello, Weasel. How you doing? I'm not quite sure what's going on there either. Ah, potentially letting me go so that we can all go to the cell point together. Uh, so, I mustn't go wrong because otherwise I'm going to make everybody go wrong. Yeah, pretty sure this is the right way to go. No chainsaws left. He might have done a video. So yeah, it looks like you actually have to come to the livestock market off the top road. I know exactly where it is, because it's actually a field 30, which is a field we've been to quite a bit. That is the only benefit of doing single player uh, videos, that is that you don't get the lag. Uh, which is always fairly frustrating to watch, as you can see. That's like, I'm trying to go full speed, we're doing 8, just because we've been pulled back by... Oh, I did 230! That was immense. How did I not even crash? Good job I did not turn the steering wheel. That could have been disastrous. Or we could have had another uh, truck in the back of us. Yeah, so we turn left here. That's easy. So, yeah, no need to check the map again. Another cargo thing. I've just bought three or two or something. 
I think that's probably enough because yeah, I don't think this lag is me anymore. I think it's probably the server. If we push it too hard, especially with all these bales, it's going to crash. And uh, it'd be nice if we don't crash it. We should have the tunnel around here. It's actually a surprisingly easy map to get the hang of. That's probably when we discover that there is no tunnel around here and I've gone wrong, but we'll see. Is there a tunnel? Please be a tunnel. Oh yes, thankfully. And there are signs actually anyway, so we can yeah just basically follow the signs for the livestock market. Right, here it is. On the left hand side that's field 30, which has already been replanted. Um, I'm assuming that we've got a few people following us. We'll have to see. There's the bales. Take that off and just drive through, I assume. Nice and easy. Unless we have to unload, which we might have to. Yep, I would say so. So we could actually unload to centre. Or we could unload off the back. Seems to work on the centre. There we go. I have absolutely no idea how much money we got, but it seemed alright. Many people trying to get a screenshot of all their bales. Oh, we actually have an auto stacker anyway. Ah, oh, buy manure. That is a really good feature to have in a map. Mainly if you are doing the greenhouses. In fact, I can't see another reason why you would buy it unless you actually did want to buy it just to spread on the land, but you'd have thought what you get off the cows would be enough. Uh, those greenhouses really are desperate for manure. Okay, so we might have moved first. If we have, we will continue. I will just ask them, although I could just check. I'll do both. It looks like we are actually still in the bottom field, so... I don't know. We might still be some more bales to get from there. Another 7,040 is required, apparently. Cargo. Well, here they are. Well, at least here is somebody. Or is it just... It's just an abandoned setup of a combine and a, and a truck. That's really weird. Well, that is a good place to go to with the balers. I'll notify the team. Is it field 10 or 9? Now I don't know. I think it's both. There we go. I have done my duty. Let's head back down here. And yeah, I, I should think if there are any bells left over at the previous field, somebody else will pick them up. But it is just best to stick together anyway. So I'm going to turn right over here and then turn left that should be the best approach but now I've got to say I think this truck is absolutely brilliant uh, I think I'd struggle to get it into a single player series just because of the price of it it isn't cheap unless unless it was just the other ones which were very expensive let me just check we'll take a look yeah it would be nice though yeah it's 265,000 plus 20,500 if you change the engine, and of course if you have uh, a different colour as well for the rims. Here they are, yeah, so now I'm going the wrong way. I'll just reverse out of the way. Let everybody pass, I'm causing a bit of chaos here. That does happen quite a bit. Are we going to foot 9? Oh yeah, let me go, okay. Okay, well, let's go over to field 9, and I'll just wait. Here's another one of those Man Joskin trucks. They do seem pretty nice. There's the field. I need to find an entrance to it. I am unsure of where the entrance is, but there must be a few. It's a big area and multiple fields. Oh, well, Kenneth is just going down here, so that is probably one way oh not quite sure I can't go through the hedge either 
Ah, here we go. This is it. So, yeah, we'll just wait and so we'll get the bailer going, obviously. Somebody can start the bailing and I'll follow closely behind. I think most people have actually changed to the other trucks now. It seems to be just me doing the bails. I'm not too sure why, but at least it gives me a good opportunity to uh, take a few. That was extreme. I can't believe it actually knocked it fully over and it uprighted itself. Yeah, they're pretty nice trucks. Or lorries. I call them lorries, but I know a lot of people call them trucks. There is indeed plenty of straw. So we need to put it back into the work mode, so press X. And then hopefully now all we have to do is just follow closely behind and we'll pick them up. Well, we don't have to be close behind at all, actually. We'll just have to follow. Set the cruise control to about... 8 I would have thought it would be, 8 miles per hour, 8 to 10. We have a bail, we have achieved something. So let's get it loaded and then over to the bail sell point. Okay, so there we go. Looks like this field is being finished as well. Uh, we're fully loaded, so we can leave it to somebody else to now pick up the rest of the bells. I think Weasel is the one which is going to be doing it, just over here. So, yeah. It's their turn to do it. Let's just wait for Michael. And, yeah, once I establish the correct way again to the cell point, we'll head over there. Yeah, it seems pretty easy. So Little Turk is just over here, he's just, um, he or she has just actually unloaded as well. I think it was a full load. But we do seem to be making quite a bit of money out of this. The lag has become a bit ridiculous, so I think it's probably no bad thing that we're going to update, because if we do have to start a new save game, then it will make it all very smooth again. So, I don't know. I don't know if it's going to require it. It probably won't require a new save, but we'll see. This could be fun. Um, I can pull into here. Come on, come on, Tommy. Oh, okay. You're going to reverse a bit. Fine, fine. Blast the horn as a thank you, and we'll fly past. That's smoother. That's much smoother. Okay, so. Yeah, this time I'm going to try and check and see exactly how much money we do make from this. It doesn't really bother me because it's just multiplayer, but it would be still quite interesting to see what a full truckload would be. So I think we're currently set to unload to centre. Yes, we are. It's good. We are on 123,000. Well, we're on 1,123,000. Uh, so it looks like it's around 27,000 pounds. So that's pretty good, just for some square bales basically uh, so before we finish let's just run over here I think there is another silage harvest or well, silage session going on maize harvest it's weasel Ugh, almost got run over I was lucky so <laughs> we've got the uh, the man towing this massive trailer seems to work though plenty of power somebody keeps starting and stopping a worker I'm not quite sure who is doing that but it's continually happening unless it's just a very confused worker which it could be but all looks good here I think before we finish we'll fly up into the air it's a really good way of seeing stuff the aerial view uh, yeah that is working surprisingly well must be a lot of power in that truck so yep everybody is congregating here we've come from good question obviously we came from that road there must be the fields way over there. Didn't seem to take that long by road, but 
yeah, it looks a long way. Yeah, I can see all the bailers. In fact, if we zoom in, if we change the field of view, to something like five, we can see all the ants. <laughs> the little, well, the tiny tractors. I'm amazed you can actually still see the bales from up here. That is impressive. It's our binoculars. Um, but yep, that's all gone pretty well. Did I just see a truck? Not sure, this is going to make you feel sick. <laughs> uh, right, okay, so thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video, despite the lag. And until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.